There exists a notable affinity between Sub-Saharan Africans, particularly those from Western and Southern Africa, and various archaic hominin genomes that is not observed to the same degree in East African populations. FST reveals West and South Africans are also closer to various apes than the East African Dinka are. Estimating how much of this affinity is due to actual archaic admixture versus genetic drift is challenging. For instance, despite being genetically among the most distant from Neanderthals, native Australians carry the highest levels of Neanderthal ancestry, highlighting the complexity of interpreting such signals. However, the higher archaic affinity observed in West and South African groups cannot be fully explained by genetic drift or inbreeding alone, as East Africans show similar levels of genetic diversity, e.g., comparable heterozygosity ratios. This suggests that a now-extinct archaic hominin may have contributed genetically to West African populations without leaving traces in East Africans or non-African groups. I crafted a QBDM model with the aim of determining how much, if any, archaic admixture is present in West and South Africans. Since we have no genomes of archaic African hominids, I had to use an obscure method using Neanderthals as a proxy for archaic admixture in Sub-Saharan Africans. The way this works is quite simple. I included a Neanderthal group in the lefts but anchored it with such populations as gorilla or orangutan, not Neanderthals. Typically, when you want to find out Neanderthal admixture, you would anchor it with Neanderthal rights. This is not what I am accomplishing here. I am using Neanderthal as a proxy for archaic admixture that increases affinity to gorillas and orangutans, who I use as anchors. This way the percentage of Neanderthal in the results reflects the contribution of a ghost population that increases affinity to gorillas and orangutans, not actual Neanderthals, since we know Africans have no Neanderthal ancestry. Now let's see how much archaic admixture Africans have, from the lowest to the highest. The Yoruba of Nigeria have the lowest, at 3%. The Pval is 0.4, which is very satisfactory. The Igbo of Nigeria have the second lowest, at 3.6%. The Pval is 0.8, which is very satisfactory. A Pval above 0.01 is usually considered passing or plausible. The Bantus of Tswana have the third lowest archaic contribution at 4.9%. The Pval is 0.5 which is once again very satisfactory. The Bantus of South Africa have 5.2% archaic contribution. The Pval is 0.6 which is once again very satisfactory. The Komani of South Africa are estimated to have 9.5% archaic admixture. This model is a bit worse than the others, with a Pval of 0.17. This is still way past the barrier of passing. The beauty pygmies are the population that scores highest archaic admixture at 16.3%. This model gives a PVAL of 0.3 which is also satisfactory. In the description you will find links to purchase my services and products. Thank you for watching, goodbye.